What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It is September 12th and the NFL season has officially started. Besides that Bills game, the all the games have been in the book including the Broncos Seattle game and who would have thought that Seattle out of all teams in the NFC West would be on top. Now all the teams in the NFC West besides Seattle did not look good. They looked very sloppy. The Cardinals who I expected to lose against the Chiefs but still they did not look very good. They looked pretty sloppy. The Rams definitely looked sloppy and then the 49ers who is my favorite team who I'm talking about right now and you know I'm not gonna get concerned yet because it, it's week one so it's week one jitters first of all and I'm not using this as an excuse to Niners just played poorly but these are just some little things that are making it so I'm not as concerned as I should be but the, the defense was doing very well but like I said it was week one jitters and not only that it was it, it was like a monsoon out there I mean it started pouring down rain the the field was obviously very wet if you saw when the players went ahead and ran it there is water coming up and even the celebration from the Bears at the end of them winning they were sliding into the end zone it, using it as basically like a slipping slide so that is something that the Bears are more used to weather like that and conditions like that whereas the Niners not so much because they're from the Bay Area they're used to fog and all that but not really a whole bunch of rain so with that being said you know I'm not very concerned now they go to Levi Stadium their home stadium next week against Seattle who just played a heck of a good game and ended up beating the Broncos the Broncos who I thought were gonna definitely like have a blowout win and you know a lot of the teams like half the teams I thought were gonna blow out another team and ended up losing it's just how the trend was but you know, Seattle, their defense looked very, very, very well and really good in the red zone, especially, which is something that we're not really used to seeing from Seattle. They do have sometimes good defense, but they're not the best defense at all. And their line is definitely not very good, and their line looked good. As well as Geno Smith, their QB, who is taking over for Russell Wilson, he's looking very well. So that's something that the Niners have to look at, is they have to protect the passing game. Now, there was, like I said, had some upsides for this. Nick Bosa, he did very well. I think he had one sack and a couple tackles. He did look really good and was pressuring uh, the Chicago QB, the Justin Fields. I couldn't think of his name for whatever reason, but Justin Fields, a whole bunch, and especially in that first half, the, he was causing a lot of incompletions. And then Ta Talanoa Hufanga, I, I know I said that wrong, at least the first name. I might have said the last name correct, but I know the first name I did not get correct. But anyways, he's a heck of a good player. He's a safety, and he he looked really good. He had 11 tackles and 9 were solo, not assists or get assists by his teammate. And then he also had an interception. So that was really nice. He was all over the field causing different breakups as well and all that. So good game for Talanoa Hufanga. And I'm giving him my Niners player of the game. But if you know me, I also give it out overall player of the game because the Niners did not win and the Niners are my team so that's why I go ahead and even if the Niners don't win or that's the same with the Giants or the Warriors if the team doesn't win I still give a player of the game from that team my favorite team and then I give an overall player of the game my overall player of the game it was kind of hard kind of finding it but I guess I'll give it to Justin Fields did not look good in the first half at all second half though once he found Pettis, who is the former 49er, and had a 50, I think it was either 51 or 53 yards, it might have been 51 yard reception for the touchdown, that was the big turning point, and then Justin Fields just started all of a sudden going off, and he did very well, compared to Trey Lance, Trey Lance did not look good at all, and the thing is, is that our running game did not look good, well, I mean, it looked good, but then the the Bears end up starting noticing, well, our QB can't go ahead and really throw the ball, so they're just going to keep running the ball, and so we just need to get more guys out there that are bigger and better at tackling, and that's what they kind of did, and that's what they noticed is that it was more of the run game, and the Niners, they, they did not look good after that started happening, especially after the first half when they were up 10 nothing or 10-3, something like that. 
So it, it was not a good game at all for the Niners. Very low scoring, 19 to 10. But, you know, all in all, not a good way and not living up to expectations of fans. But like I said, there is some things that I am going to go ahead and make some semi-excuses. But they're not excuses because the Niners, I will admit it, just played awful. So with that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow.